Strobel learned that life also hinges on the precise strengths and relative values of many different physical constants. One example of this fine tuning is the force of gravity. Imagine a ruler divided up into one inch increments and then stretched across the entire universe, a distance of some 14 billion light years. For the purposes of illustration, the ruler represents the possible range for gravity. In other words, the setting for the strength of gravity could have been anywhere along the ruler, but it just happens to be situated in exactly the right place so that life is possible. Now, if you were to change the force of gravity by moving the setting just one inch compared to the entire width of the universe, the effect on life would be catastrophic. No large-scale life forms could exist. Anything that was more than the size of a pea would be completely crushed. So you might be able to get life of a very, very primitive sort, such as bacteria, but you could never get conscious observers. The strength of gravity is just one of at least 30 separate parameters that must be finely tuned to produce a life-sustaining universe. Another example is the cosmological constant. The cosmological constant describes the expansion speed of space in the universe. If space expands too quickly, then the universe will spread out so quickly that material objects can't form. So you can't get stars and galaxies and planets and the types of things that we, of course, take for granted in our universe. Physicists have determined that the cosmological constant is fine-tuned to one part in a hundred million billion 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 billion. Such precision has been compared to traveling hundreds of miles into space, then throwing a dart at the Earth and hitting a bullseye measuring one trillionth of a trillionth of an inch in diameter, an area less than the width of a single atom. Just consider those two parameters, gravity and the cosmological constant. Their level of fine tuning is to a precision of one part in a hundred million trillion, 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 trillion. I mean, that's like one atom in the entire known universe.